Hey everyone, I'm Asia Dang and we're in my car today because I am talking about the products that I actually keep in my car all the time. There's some people that keep makeup and such in their purses and backpacks. I really don't do that. I just kind of keep it in my car and if I leave my car looking crazy, then I leave my car looking crazy. And I realized that I actually do carry quite a few products in my car, so I thought it'd be an interesting video to share with you all in case, I don't know, you want to step up your car game. That's all. Let's get started. Okay, so here's the deal. I have separate bags in the separate sides of the car. The products on the driver's seat of my car, which is where I am all the time, are the products that I use every single time I get into the car, period. The products on this side um, are, I don't know, things that I could possibly need and I can foresee myself needing in the future. And um, so, I don't know, that's it. That's kind of how I split up my products. And I guess we will start on this side. All right, first things first, the products that I use all the time. Look at how cute this bag is. It is from Coco Floss. Here are the products, let's dig in. Okay, well, speaking of Coco Floss, here is some Coco Floss. I really love Coco Floss. I can't really explain the difference in the type of string or fiber that they use compared to a Crest Floss or any other brand, I don't even know. But this one is way better, it just feels smoother and it smells bomb. I keep it on this side just in case because, you know, this might sound a little gross. I have been known to pull out hair and floss my teeth with it. So it's just kind of better to not be disgusting and just carry floss around. Chapstick, it's a go-to. If you're like me, you have chapstick in every car, in every room, in every bag that you possibly own. It is crucial. This one is from Burt's Bees. It's cucumber mint. And then this one's just like a random Yelp stick I got from an event. Something I also use all the time is my nail file. I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a very bad nail biting habit. It is disgusting. And it gets worse when I'm stuck in traffic and LA is known for traffic. I just file my nails and I just don't get as stressed. True story. Ooh, rubber band, crucial. This is kind of self-explanatory. So yeah, I guess that's it. Hand sanitizer is really important. I have hand sanitizer in my car and in my backpack as well as in one of my other bags that I use quite a lot. I think this is a really important thing everyone should have in their car. Sunscreen. You guys know how important sunscreen is for your face. I talk about it every time I do a makeup or skincare tutorial, but sunscreen for your body is equally as important. I don't know about you, but for me, I always remember my face, but I never remember the rest of my body. And it isn't until I'm sitting in traffic and the sun is beaming on my arms and my legs and my hands and I'm like, damn it. So this one is from Burt's Bees. It's SPF 30, uh, water resistant, no parabens, phthalates, petroleum, you know, Burt's Bees is good. I like Burt's Bees. It's nice and portable and I like that it's a cream versus a spray because you don't really want to get all that stuff in your car. Speaking of hand, hand cream. This is probably the most used product besides chapstick in my car. This is from Ahava. I love, love, love Ahava product. Nice and thick and has this beautiful light smell. I have a ton of these in my bathroom. This is like a lip balm from Bees, Burt's Bees, but I actually use it kind of more for my cuticles. Like I said, I have an issue with biting my nails and after I file my nails, what do I do? I gotta moisturize my cuticles. Finally, we have some face spray. This is great because not only is it good to set your makeup, uh, but it also is great for rehydrating or just refreshing yourself. Ooh, that feels so good. It's just so refreshing. It, ooh that really refreshed my skin. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I really love that. I really love that. So hydrating. So that is the last product <laughs> on this side. Now let's get to the other side. Oh man, the lighting is so much better on this side. 
first stop, my Miko swimwear little bag. It says Mahalo on it. I don't know if you can tell, but it's super cute. This has, like I said, products that I could potentially see myself using, but don't use all the time. So I keep it on this side, so it's just out of my way. <gasps> I forgot one thing on this side. Okay, we're back to the bad lighting, but I forgot to mention because it's actually not in my bag. It's just in the side case, sunglasses. I always keep an extra pair of sunglasses in my car just in case I forget them. These are really affordable, but they're cute and they kind of go with anything. I am using my Ray-Bans case because I feel like it's pretty sturdy. It really is important uh, to keep those fine lines and wrinkles at bay. So sunglasses, an extra pair in your car is crucial. Let's go back to this side. Okay, first things first. Napkins, I actually don't know why they're in here. I usually keep them in my glove compartment. I also have poop bags for my dogs. And this one is of Donald Trump, which I think is hilarious. I should have bought more. But that also goes into my glove compartment. First thing is first, let's talk about uh, this tinted moisturizer. I used to use this tinted moisturizer all the time, but now I don't really love it as much as I did because the texture is kind of thick and weird. However, I don't not like it enough to toss it out or give it away. So I'm going to keep it in my car just in case one day I randomly forget to put on sunscreen or something. The next thing we have are these IGK charcoal dry shampoo hair blotting tissues. To be honest, I'm not 100% convinced that they work. What it is, is little packets you rip open and you like then blot your hair. Like I said, I tried it once. I'm not 100% sure or believe that it actually works, but I do in general like IGK as a brand. So I'm gonna continue to use it until someone says, Asia, your hair looks really oily, then I'll toss them. But speaking of blotting tissues, I have blotting paper. I honestly don't really use these too much because what I like to do is just, when I use the restroom, those toilet seat covers, you can use those as blotters and I usually do that while I'm peeing and stuff and I can leave the bathroom looking refreshed and not oily. So um, I've actually never used these before but it, it you know, doesn't hurt to have one. Next thing I have in my car, even though it's repetitive, is some more um, lotion. This is from First Aid Beauty. I really like First Aid Beauty and this is just like a moisturizer. Nothing really important since I already have my hand moisturizer. I kind of forget that I have this moisturizer on this side, but I guess you can never have too much moisturizer, right? Next, we have these Burt's Bees Exfoliating Facial Cleansing Towels in Peach. Mmm, it smells so good. You all know this, I don't really use um, cleansing towelettes because to me they don't feel good on my skin. Um, however, my mom really likes them, so if you're into um, cleansing towels, I would definitely try Burt's Bees. I got my mom like 30 of them, so that's how much she likes them. But I keep these in my car because you don't have to use them on your face. I use them to wipe my hands or to wipe up spills on my seats or to even clean up um, my car. So it's good for everyday use if you want and they just honestly smell so good. <laughs> the last couple things in my bag are these Wonder Beauty concealer and um, on the glow blush sticks. This is cool because it has an illuminator on one side and then it has the concealer stick on the other. And um, to keep in the car, it's really easy put because they're all like creamies and stuff. So it's not going to break. You don't need a brush. You can just use your fingers and, stu and such. So if I ever needed a concealer for anything, um, I would be happy to have this in my car. The final product in this bag is the Wander Beauty On The Glow Blush Set. I actually really like this. It has a highlighter on one side and then a blush on the other. This one is in Berry Whisper. You can just use it on your cheeks. You can use it on your eyes. You can use it on your lips. So this is like a really cool thing to have in your car, especially if you're like me and don't carry around touch up. Whoa, look at how big of a difference that made. And it took five seconds. 
two bags down, one more to go. And then finally in this Glossier bag, I just have two little tchotchkes. One, I keep a pair of headphones in my car because in LA, it's really, the traffic is terrible. So if I have things to do outside of downtown where I live, I like to kind of just stay there for the day. Sometimes I'll have to wait an hour or two and go to a coffee shop. So I always have this in case of those moments so I can at least do some work on my computer. And finally, people, the last thing I have in my car is a lint roller. There are portable lint rollers out there. I am not going to go out and buy one. I have two full on size lint rollers in my bathroom. So I decided to put one in my car. If you have a meeting or you just have dogs that shed or animals that shed and wanna just look cleaner, this does the job. It's an easy thing to put in your car and I think really important. Hey everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you liked knowing what I keep in my car. And I hope maybe you found it helpful and maybe we'll add some things to your car repertoire. If you keep products in your car as well, please let us know in the comment section as well, just because uh, the more the merrier. I'm Asia Dang, thank you so much for watching this video and I am actually gonna see you on Monday. Uploading a video on Monday next week, not Tuesday. So turn on that notification little alarm clock and um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week. Bye.